Washington and began by asking her if the government plans to provide any relief to telecom players with respect to lowering some of these charges. The policy has very clearly stated what will be the key objectives. One, to get universal broadband out to all. And secondly, to create the investments which will ensure that India has a next generation ready uh, telecom network. So in the policy, there are enough pointers which say in what direction the policy will move. Now, once the policy is approved by the cabinet, then there will be various groups which will be sitting down and working out what should be an appropriate policy going forward. When are you putting the policy forward for a cabinet nod? When can we see? We expect it to go to cabinet in the next couple of weeks. NPA is quite high when we talk of telecom sector. It's about 8 lakh crore rupees. Uh, do you think that the, this uh, telecom sector's huge uh, debt would actually lead to another sector getting into the NPA list after power and uh, the others which we are seeing going through the IBC course? No. Let me draw a distinction because here let's remember that we have a huge telecom market. We have only touched about 30% of it with internet broadband, for example. So we have another 60% of growth and unmet needs going forward. So the long-term fundamentals are very robust. So once this current period of consolidation and stabilization is over, definitely the industry will come back to health, which is why we do not foresee any problems on the NPA front. My last question, we are yet to see 5G auctions. Will it be similar to the process that was adopted for 3G and 4G? And if not, then what, are, what is government thinking? How best to auction 5G? Um, see, 5G, we are a little time away from the ecosystem being fully developed. I believe that uh, the auctions will actually be most optimal when the players also have an idea of what is the ecosystem looking like. So I think it's a few months away yet.